So we have the motor in the vise. So you try to get as much purchase on the rim as possible not to, as to not to crush it. You have the tire squeezed underneath it. Lots of soap and water all over the tire and the motor to help slip it on. Extra long metal tire levers. You can find these on Amazon. And you just walk with some force, but you want small increments getting the tire on. Might take a few tries to loosen off the solid tire. Soap and water is slippery. This is looking good. Almost got it. And then, once you're at this part, you'll have to go to the other side of the tire. I can use this side to lift it up just a touch. You're just gonna go into the tire, pull this side out, and you're just gonna pull it back so it kind of falls into place. You'll have to do this a few times around the whole tire. I'm a little limited with the bike stand here. I'll slip it out. And you can see it's already a little bit better. And I'm just going to have to do this a couple more times. It's usually better from the non-exposed side. Just gonna move the bike stand, holding the scooter a little bit. Here. Pulling the rim back, kind of letting it flick off, and now you can see it's starting to enter. It's not perfect yet. <laughs> a little, little busy with the video for a uh, customer. <laughs> a little tight here with the bike stand. Doo -doo -doo. Just trying to get this to roll on. The bike stand is a little tight for me. Uh, just tell him I'll be a minute. I'm just getting a video uh, for a customer. I'm going to call you back. He's just in the middle of something right now. Okay, I'll have him call you. It's not always as difficult. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. What I might actually do... I spin this around because this doesn't need to be squeezed so hard anymore. I can <laughs> move this on the bike. Spin this around if I can. Just trying to get more purchase without getting the bike stand to interfere. And now here I have a lot more luck. It'll be a lot easier for the uh, the rear motor, rear wheel, basically the same concept, but 
there's no motor you have to worry about. You just work it in, pull, actually, pull, and let it slide. And now the other side uh, should be starting to look better. How is that looking? Still needs a bit more. Still needs a bit more. It's more of an art than a science. Starting to look a lot better. Yeah, just there. Pull. Flick. And you can see it's starting to seat. And just rotate the wheel as needed. Actually, as soon as I let it go, it looks like it popped mostly into place. Just have to work in this corner. But that's pretty much how you install it.